art by Inked Playmats at inkplaymats.com. Your place for custom-made playmats. Design your own or shop from other featured designers. Use promo code CLOTSDILL to save 10% on your order. Inked Playmats. Your game, your style. ...to do on their website and come join us for a fun-friendly F&M environment. Kevin from Klotz Productions, welcome back to game two of the match between Tezzeret Control and Blue White Delver. Nick started off on the play by laying down an island and then casting a ponder and rearranging the cards on the top of his library. Shawa just put an island into play as well and passed, and then Nick laid down a plains and cast a Delver of Secrets. Shawa then laid down a Phyrexia's core and played an Icker Wellspring to draw a card. Nick played another ponder on his turn and rearranged the cards again. He then laid down a Sea Chrome Coast and attacked with his Delver, taking Shower to 19. Shower played a Dark Six Shores and passed, then Nick laid down a Moreland Haunt and attacked with his Delver again. However, Shower killed it with a Doom Blade. Shower then laid down a Drowned Catacomb and passed again, so at the end of the turn, Nick exiled his Delver from his graveyard with his Moreland Haunt to get a Spirit Token. He then played a Sword of Feast and Famine and went to equip it to his Spirit. However, in response, Shower killed it with a Go for the Throat. At the end of the turn, Shower sacrificed his Wellspring to his core, gaining one life, and drew a card. He then laid down a Ghost Quarter on his turn and then played a Tezzeret Agent of Bolus. He used his Tezzeret to look for more artifacts but didn't find any. He then sacrificed his Ghost Quarter to destroy Nick's Moreland Haunt. Nick played a Snapcaster Mage on his turn and flashed back his Ponder, however he chose to shuffle away the cards that he saw. Shower laid down another Ghost Quarter on his turn and then played a Ratchet Bomb. He used his Tezzeret to turn his Ratchet Bomb into a 5-5 creature, however at the end of the turn Nick destroyed it with a Divine Offering going up to 22. Shower also used another go for the throat to kill Nick's mage. Nick played another Delver of Secrets and equipped his sword to it. Then Shower laid down a swamp and went down to 18 to play a Phyrexian Metamorph. He made it a 5-5 creature with Tezzeret, however at the end of the turn Nick bounced it with a Vapor Snag, dropping Shower to 17. Nick revealed another Vapor Snag on the top of his library during his upkeep, transforming his Delver into an Insectile Aberration. He then attacked for 5, dropping Shower down to 12 and forcing him to discard a card. Shower used his Tezzeret to look for an artifact again and found a pristine talisman this time, which he went ahead and played. Nick then cast a Phantasmal Image and copied his Insectile Aberration. Then he attacked with his Equipped Aberration for another 5, taking Shower down to 7 and forcing him to discard another card. Shower gained a life with his Talisman at the end of the turn. He then used his Tezzeret again to find himself a Nil Spellbomb. He then played a Black Sun Zenith for 2, going up to 9, killing Nick's Image and shrinking his Aberration. He then played his Spellbomb and passed. Nick played another Phantasmal Image on his turn, copying his Aberration again. He then played another Delver of Secrets, and then attacked with his Aberration for three more damage, dropping Shower down to six and forcing him to discard the last card in his hand. For Shower's next turn, he started off by sacrificing his Spell Bomb to exile Nick's graveyard and draw another card. He then gained another life, playing another Black Sun Zenith for two to wipe Nick's board again, so in response, Nick bounced his Delver back to his hand with a Vapor Snag, going down to 21. Shower then used his Tezzeret to turn his Talisman into a 5-5. Nick replayed his Delver and equipped his Sword to it. Then Shower used his Tezzeret to find himself a Ratchet Bomb, which he went ahead and put into play. Nick then just played Land Go, so at the end of the turn, Shower used his Talisman to gain another life. He then used his Tezzeret again to find himself another Talisman. Nick then played a Geist of St. Traft, and at the end of his turn, Shower used his Talismans to gain two more life. Shower then played a Graft Digger's Cage on his turn. He then played a Phyrexian Metamorph as well to copy and kill Nick's Geist. He then used his Tezzeret to turn his other Talisman into a 5-5 and then attacked with the first one, which Nick took, going down to 16. Nick just played Draw Go for his next turn, then Shower attacked with his two Talismans. Nick just took the 10 damage, going down to 6, not noticing that the Tezzeret could kill him. So post-combat, Shower used Tezzeret's ultimate to take 8 life from Nick, finishing him off and giving Shower the win to the game and the match. So that's it for this match. I hope you all enjoyed it. You can find the full version of this gameplay in the annotations at the end, along with links to my blog and my Let's Play Duels of the Planeswalkers 2012. If you like this or any other video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and add it to your favorites, then subscribe to be notified when more videos are online.